Alright, it's like crazy thunderstorm, so hopefully I get through this without losing power, because I already flicked once. And I have coffee, my toenails are drying, so I have time, so I'm going to do question and answer video for you. So, we're going to start with whoever's first on my list. Oh, Crystal, Mrs. Fayed, 1979, asked me. She said, thank you so much for hosting the giveaway. Number one, do you watch Vampire Diaries? I do watch Vampire Diaries in this CW, right? Um, I love the Vampire Diaries, and actually, um, it got really good when it just ended, and May 15th was the last episode, and I actually started to get back to, like, sorry, let me move this, um, to how good it used to be, and I'm really, really into it, so I can't wait for it to come back, I think, in October or September. Second one, Damon or Stefan? Definitely Stefan. Three, who's your favorite pretty little liar? Of the girls, that's really hard. Um, my favorite character on the show is either probably Mona or... I really like Melissa, too. Well, I, I think there's a lot to Melissa's thing, story. Um, Mona is my favorite character. My favorite liar is probably... Ooh, we just flickered the power again. Um, probably Spencer or Arya. Um, I really do like Arya, but Spencer's just so smart and so, I don't know, I feel like I relate the most to Spencer, so it's hard. What is one pro and one kind of living on the Jersey Shore? Pro of living on the Jersey Shore is that there's always something to do, and um, there's always beautiful sights to see. Um, and the con is Benny's. And Benny's are, um, Bayonne. It stands for this whole thing, pretty much from people from North Jersey or New York. Um, NY is New York. People that come to visit that don't act right or cause all kinds of traffic, uh, annoying. So always say, like, once it starts getting nice, is Benny's go home because. They kind of just like ruin our beaches. <laughs> um, it, it just gets annoying. Um, another con is hurricane season. Um, and especially everyone knows Hurricane Sandy. My town next to me, Union Beach, you can Google it, was the hardest hit town in the entire storm. So that's a con. Uh, number five, your top favorite hair product. My top favorite hair product is the... Moroccan argan oil, um, and I get the little ones at Sally's for like a dollar. Um, I also love Paul Mitchell's Skinny Serum. And my favorite skincare product would have to be my Facial Essence Cucumber Sheet Mask that I get at Big Lots. And, um, what's the other thing? Favorite makeup product would have to be my Wet n Wild Silent Treatment Trio. Um, and my retro glam mascara and those are what i'm currently using but those are also my holy grail drugstore uh makeup trio and also drugstore mascara okay bambi jenkins number one what is your height i am five six and a half number two what is your job um i'm a freelance writer and editor i'm going to be doing a vlog all about my career Three, are you married? I'm not married. Number four, what is your mantra for life? My mantra for life I actually goes hand in hand with my favorite quote, and it's from Maya Angelou. And it's on my Instagram, so that's why I'm going on my phone. And it says, my mission in life is not merely to survive, but to thrive, and to do so with passion, some compassion, some humor, and some style. So that is my mantra. And have you ever practiced yoga? I have done yoga in the past. I really quite enjoy it and it's really good for my back. And um, I really want to start getting back into it. I have a yoga mat and everything. So that actually like helped me re remind me that I wanted to do that. Okay, Heather76071 is what is your five year plan? My five year plan. All right, hopefully in five years I'll be married hopefully have a child, maybe two, I don't know. Um, I will have a condo house or a townhouse. That will be next summer. Um, and as for my career, just continue to be successful. 
Um, I hope to be a lot more healthy. I've lost weight um, and healthy just in my mind and my spirit as well. And I think that's about it. Um, two, have you ever written your own book? Um, I have been in the process of writing women's studies books for like five years. I have about 100 pages or more. Um, probably more than that. That's like um, eight and a half by 11. And you know like regular books are smaller. So I probably have close to 150 pages for a book. Um, I really need to get back into it. It's just kind of lost lost wanting to do it and I will I mean I have so much done why wouldn't I um three how do your family and friends feel about YouTube um my family knows that I do it they don't watch it um and only like one or two of my friends know that I have a YouTube and I don't care to share I mean my boyfriend knows I know that when we first started dating he found it because we would watch YouTube videos and of course if he was on my YouTube then when he was like searching he saw video manager and saw I had tons of videos and he was just like you do videos I'm like yeah I just do them at the time I was doing books and I had done beauty but then I was really into doing book too now not so much but um, he's just like whatever about it I mean he expects me to do it for do you smoke or drink I used to smoke cigarettes um, unfortunately um, and occasionally I still do it's not something I do regularly nor do I think is um, amazing but that's why I've been using these hookah pens because they still have nicotine in it but you're not putting all the bad things into your lungs um, and it also doesn't emit secondhand smoke do I drink I do drink occasionally I used to be quite a partier maybe several years ago um, but I don't drink that much and especially not now because of my gallbladder issue number five real or fiction movies or books I guess real or fiction fiction is real wait fiction is <laughs> so lost um, okay, movies, I'll just say the kind of movies and books I like. The movies, I like to watch dramas. I do like comedies, of course. I like thrillers, psychological thrillers, and documentaries. For books, I like to read young adult fiction, obviously, paranormal romance, which is vampires. Um, I like to read women's study books, uh, social, like, um, cultural study books, and some chiclet and new adult Okay, more from Heather. If you could live anywhere, where would you go and why? Um, that's really hard. I mean, anywhere that I was with, like, the man that I love and my family, um, I could see myself living in different places. Would I ever do reality TV? There's so many times where my friends and I are like, um, you know, camera should follow us. Because the craziest stuff happens to us and, like, the funniest things, too, most random. So, um, I guess maybe I would. Number three, do you think the drinking age should be lowered to 18? This is something that is so controversial because, you know, you can serve our country, but you can't have a drink. Um, and in New Jersey, you can't buy cigarettes either. You have to be 19. In Michigan, you're 18. Um, in Canada, you're 19 to drink. And I went to Canada for my 19th birthday, of course. And I only lived, you know, 20 half hour or less from the bridge so or the tunnel we had bridge or tunnel in Detroit and um, I don't think that that meant that everyone acted crazy because they were 19 and they were drinking uh, it has the same consequences if you drink drive and such and um, I don't know I mean I don't think it would have changed it would change much if kids were 18 and drinking the only issue that I would has if the kid was still in high school and he can go out and drink and that's what the problem was in the 70s I believe people were telling me that they were going out to drink they're sitting next to their teacher and they're in high school so I wouldn't be opposed to it but it also need to be you know regulated well so maybe 19 would be a better age and just follow what Canada does uh, why did you want to start YouTube it just kind of happened <laughs> honestly I started watching YouTube videos and I said why don't I do it and it's actually really fun I like sharing and contributing and creating and I really the, what I like the most is sharing the the products that I really enjoy with other people because I really like watching videos and seeing somebody say I love this and this is why it 
gives you so much insight and I also like to say hey I got these deals you guys should run and check out your store and see if you can find them too I like sharing knowledge that's why I do it what are your beliefs on gay marriage I didn't read any of these questions before I started just so you know so um, it's like instant thoughts thoughts on gay marriage I'm Christian um, I grew up Catholic I now consider myself non-denominational non -denominational Christian, um, and I do understand that, the, you know, the Bible says this and that. I also understand that the Bible wasn't written by God, it was written by men that were telling the story after the fact, and also that we live in a different world, and also that our God, um, or the God that I believe in, I don't want to offend anyone that doesn't believe in God. Um, would never, ever want someone to live a life that wasn't what they wanted. And in saying that, I mean, they wouldn't want a man or a woman to live a heterosexual life that wasn't feeling truly that way. Um, it doesn't affect me, and I believe that people should be able to love who they want and do that shouldn't you know determine what kind of person they are to me or how they're treated in life it doesn't matter to me if a woman's with a woman a man's with a man um, it doesn't affect me and honestly if people are happy I feel like the world would be a more peaceful place if there wasn't so many restraints uh, put on who we're supposed to be, who we're supposed to love, you know, what we're supposed to do. So I just think that the world would be more peaceful if people could live the life they want to. Victoria Barkney 3. What is your biggest pet peeve? Okay. I hate when... <laughs> First of all, I hate people that can't drive. Second of all, <laughs> I hate... Um, what I really hate is when you're in the middle of a store or a mall and people stop right in front of you and just stand there and you're like right behind them you are like uh hello like can you move um i also really can't stand people that are late and then don't they're gonna be extremely late and then they don't tell you that they are like say you're making dinner or i just i just don't like rude people that's pretty much my puppy are you a light sleeper no not anymore uh <sighs> It's hard not to be in my apartment because it's paper thin walls and is loud as heck. I sleep with earplugs. Um, what is the most dangerous or adventurous thing that you've ever done? I haven't done crazy adventurous things. The only thing I could think of I really don't want to share. <laughs> so I'm going to plead the fifth on that one. Um, are you an early riser? I don't know what early is considered. I, lately, I've been sleeping a lot later than usual, um, to like 9 or 8.30. I used to get up at 7, 7.38, but I haven't been able to sleep as early. Um, next question. Why are you so pretty? <laughs> Thank you. Um, first of all, beauty is inside and out. So... And I will say this, I know that I have a beautiful heart and um, I give as much as I can to those I love. And I think that when you are that kind of person, it shines through and it kind of um, casts a light on you that kind of maybe makes you look more, um, what's the word? Not attractive, but like that makes you look, I guess, more pretty. That's not what I wanted to say, but I can't come up with the word. Next question from Heather. If you could change one thing about yourself, what would it be? Honestly, I hate my nose. I hate my nose. Like, I hate my nose. And actually, now that I did that, maybe I don't hate my nose because it could be that way. Um, I've learned to just... My Polish nose... It's exactly what it is, Slavic nose. Um, but honestly, it I never really thought about it until someone said that. Um, it is what it is. <laughs> uh, what's your most favorite thing about yourself? My eyes. My eyes tell exactly how I feel. Um, and it's bad, and sometimes, you know, it's certain situations, but um, I am... 
Thank God that I have such expressive eyes. Do I have any pets? I do not have any pets, but I love, 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 love dogs. I mean, love dogs. Republican or Democrats and why? Woo. Woo. Okay. Honestly, that will depend on what we're talking about. Um, I'm very conservative with some main you know, arguments or controversy topics, and then I'm very liberal with others. But whenever I do the like political test, I'm usually considered a libertarian, which means that I believe that people should have as many freedoms um, as possible. So minimal government regulation. Um, and I can go into those other things if somebody asks me those questions. Do you think there should be a time frame for welfare? Time frame, like how long someone has it? Um, I know people that have you no know, welfare. Um, and honestly, it depends on the situation. Like if you're getting health insurance um, and you're low income, I don't think there should be a time frame in that. It's not your fault that your job doesn't pay you enough. But as for like other things that people are just sitting there having children to make money, um, obviously there should be some sort of regulation so that doesn't happen. Okay, I'm going to cut this off here and I will continue on another video. Stay tuned for part two.